Hello everyone, myself Professor Girish Badgujar from PHGVP Mandal's Institute of Pharmacy, Shahada. And the topic of this video is antagonism and its types. So what is antagonism? When two drugs are given together, one drug reduces or blocks the effect of another drug, the process is called as antagonism. One drug act as agonist while second drug act as antagonist. Let us understand this concept through this animation. There is a receptor and there are two drugs. One is agonist and second is antagonist. Now when antagonist binds with the receptor, it prevents the binding of agonist to the receptor. So agonist will not be able to produce any action. So this mechanism is called as antagonism. In antagonism, one drug block or prevent the action of another drug. Here antagonist blocks the action of agonist. There are four types of antagonism. First, competitive or reversible antagonism. Second, non-competitive or irreversible antagonism. Third, physiological antagonism. And fourth, chemical antagonism. Let us study all these types one by one. First is competitive antagonism which is also called as reversible antagonism. In this, agonist and antagonist compete for the same receptor. Antagonist bind with the receptor and prevent the agonist from binding and initiating a response. Means there is a receptor having one binding site for agonist as well as for antagonist. Now, antagonist will bind with the receptor, so it prevents the agonist from binding and producing action. So, agonist will not be able to produce action since it cannot bind with the receptor as antagonist is already bind with the receptor. So, this is competitive antagonism. It is also called as reversible antagonism because it is totally dependent on the concentration of agonist and antagonist. Means we can replace the antagonist by agonist simply by increasing the concentration of agonist. If concentration of agonist is increased, it will replace antagonist from the receptor. Like this. Now since agonist is in more concentration, antagonist is replaced from the receptor, agonist binds with the receptor and produce the action. That's why it is also called as reversible antagonism. Example acetylcholine and atropine. Atropine is antagonist of acetylcholine. Second type is non-competitive antagonism. It is also called as irreversible antagonism. In this type, agonist and antagonist bind with different binding sites of the same receptor. Since binding sites are different, there is no competition for binding with receptor. But antagonist bind with receptor and brings about changes in the structure of receptor. As a result, agonist cannot bind with the receptor and so it will not able to produce the action. So such antagonism is called as non-competitive antagonism. In the structure of receptor we can say, see that there are two binding sites, one for agonist and another for antagonist. Now when antagonist bind with the receptor it brings about changes in the structure of this receptor. Since structure is changed, agonist will not able to bind with the receptor. So binding of agonist with receptor is prevented. As a result, agonist 
will not able to produce action so such antagonism is called as non competitive antagonism it is irreversible because we cannot bring the structure of receptor to its original shape or original structure that's why it is called as irreversible antagonism example phenoxybenzamine and noradrenaline phenoxybenzamine is non competitive antagonist of noradrenaline third type of antagonism is physiological antagonism where agonist and antagonist bind with different receptors of the same physiological system and both these drugs produce opposite effects so these drugs cancels actions of each other for example adrenaline is a drug which bind with adrenergic receptor and produce bronchodilation while histamine is a drug which bind with histaminic receptor and produce bronchoconstriction now if we administered both drugs these drugs together they cancel the actions of each other and this type of antagonism is called as physiological antagonism last is chemical antagonism where two drugs which are given together react chemically with each other and produce inactive product that means chemical reaction between two drugs cancels the action of each other and that process is called as chemical antagonism for example acid and alkali if given in combination they will neutralize each other so their action will be reduced so this is chemical antagonism i hope you understand the concept subscribe the channel for more pharmacological and educational videos thank you